Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today, I want to talk about Control Mate and how you can use it to create fairly consistent animations like this. Let me just show you the final results and then I'll uh, go into a uh, way to download all the uh, other things you require and what are the best settings you can use. Right? Be alert. Protect yourself. Life local. So you can see this is a fairly consistent animation and this is from uh, like a, a really good dialogue from a, one of my favorite movies. Right? Uh, or you can also create uh, you know, interesting animations using uh, the same control net. So for this I used uh, uh, the Spiderverse model and uh, I think I used control net depth model so let me just get quickly into how to use this and uh, from where you can download all the stuff you require so first for uh, i'll be using the control net with uh, web ui so so for using it in uh, web ui you have to install an extension uh, which you can actually uh, copy this link and I'll be uh, putting this in the description down below as well so you don't have to worry. Uh, as I already have the uh, extension installed so it will just give me an error. After that you have to download a bunch of models uh, so I'll sh be sharing this link as well. I uh, these models are pretty heavy files so I would suggest you to uh, go with the canny and depth if you're going to try it out uh, and there are other models as well and i'll be creating tutorials on how to uh, use those models as well but for, for now we'll be downloading the canny and the depth model right uh, after you download them you have to uh, put it put them in uh, web ui extensions so here is the hd web ui control net and there you have to put it in the models part right so i have it I have it here control hd canny and control hd depth right once you have it uh it's pretty much it uh now you can go to either the text to image tab you have the option for control net or you can go to image to image and similarly you have the option for control net so i would suggest you for uh, for creating consistent animation you can go with the image to image tab right uh, I have already extracted the video into a bunch of frames. I'll be sharing the code for that as well. So let's say so here is the image. Let's use the integra uh, integrate clip, right? A man in denim shirt looking at the camera with a serious face, look on his face, and a microphone in front of him. Yeah, that looks fairly accurate. Let's say so. I'm using the protogen model. You can use any model you want. Uh, if you want, we can try with the Spider-Verse one as well. So for the Spider-Verse model, the uh, key tag is Spider-Verse style. Okay, let's just enhance it, uh, emphasize it further. Let's say we want it to have an 8, it should be 8, 8 have, to have insane details. If we want, it can have handsome stuff like that right uh, for the negative point you can go for unclear weird blurry you don't want it to be vague or disturbed right now um so let's we are using the spider-verse model for the spider-verse i personally feel like uh, ddim works the best but you can definitely check it out with uh, other sampling methods as well right Let's just emphasize it, uh, resize the image. Okay. You can increase the CFG scale to 15, denoising strength to 0 0.22. Let's restore, uh, tick the restore face option. So, in control net, to enable it, you just have to click on the enable tab, right? And the pre processor, you can, uh, there are a bunch of options. Let's go with the depth one. If you cannot see your models, just refresh the tab and uh, so here is my depth model right uh, let's just leave the settings as it is and now just check it out how this looks right 
I haven't checked it out with the Spider-Verse style, so I don't know how will it look, but I'm pretty confident it might look good. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not the best output I've seen. Like, you know, you can try to increase the size, increase the denoising strength, and see if it will give more. Uh, yeah, so this is probably not working. <laughs> And I think it's okay. We can use the protogen model as well. Uh, I have tried it out with the protogen model, so I know it works best. I just wanted to try it out with uh, a different model. Just so for the protogen model, it's more model shoot style. We also want it to have an anime kind of outlook, right? Anime style. So let's try this. Uh, Let's just mess around with the settings and just see. Let's see how it will come. Just give it a moment. Uh, okay, that's possible. So you can see this is yeah, this is fairly interesting. If you want, you can emphasize the anime style further. You can say like you know, uh, you can increase the CFG scale, even try to increase the denoising strength. But as he is talking, uh, I would keep the denoising strength a bit low so that you know uh, it can match his lip movements, right? So you can do that. Uh, you can decrease the weight to make it closer to the original image. So yeah, that's about it. You know, you just have to keep on messing around with what works best. Uh, I personally go with a very low denoising strength and CFG scale as well. This gives a kind of more smooth, uh, similar looking images, right? You can say it has uh, glowing eyes to match the output I've shown. And just remove the uh, speckles. You don't want it to be dusty. Right, increase the sampling steps a bit. You go with a Euler A on. Yeah, this looks fairly close to what I've shown you. Right, so that's about it. No, you can obviously mess around with different models. Uh, uh, I wanted to try it out with what if style. Let's see how that works out. So this is so there is no surefire way that this you know you use these settings you will get uh, you will get the exact results. You have to keep on testing around and uh, I think that's the fun part as well because you can see you know uh, really interesting results which you don't find often. Uh, so yeah, so you can see this is a more uh, <laughs> I don't know it's kind of looking comedic look. Let's see if I can increase the scale and uh, the denoising strength. Will that change something? Yeah, I mean, this looks fairly interesting. Let's see uh, that for a different image where he's talking. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, this looks fairly interesting. So I'll. Uh, let me now let's just uh, put this in input directory let's go for the output directory here and here is the output directory and you just run it so that's about it i know this is really simple i uh, i haven't gone much into theory i just wanted you to know like now what are the settings you can use and Many people uh, keep on asking me, like, no, what exactly you you as you use for the prompts and everything. I keep it really simple. I try with different settings and see what works best. Yeah, I hope uh, you learn something new. And if you have any more queries, do let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you.